now we want to look at which vertical triangle among out of these four uh, would represent the forces acting on the ladder. Now this ladder is resting on rough ground and leans against a rough wall, all right, which means there will be some friction. Okay, so if we do, where would the friction act? If we were to imagine the ladder uh, sliding downwards, right, uh, the friction will be acting upwards at point P and to the right in point Q, right, because fric friction would tend to oppose the motion. Okay, but at the same time, we know that there's a normal contact force at Q and a normal contact force at P. Okay, these two forces are contact forces, and together they will create an upward force here and here. All right, so these two green forces, we'll call them the contact forces because it's the sum of the normal contact force and the frictional force, which is also a contact force. Okay, so the force at P would be in this direction, more or less, and the force at Q will be in this direction. Okay, now let's verify whether, uh, because these are three non-parallel forces on a single plane, uh, the lines of action of the forces should cut the same point. They should intersect at the same point. Okay, so weight is acting downwards, right? The line of action of the weight extends all the way up vertically, and it intersects with P along here at this point. Okay, so it's possible for Q to be in this direction because it will also point towards the intersection. Okay, of course, the magnitudes of Q, W, and P may not be correct in my initial diagram, but let's just look at the general direction. Okay, so first of all, weight is downwards. Okay, so these three options have weight vertically downwards. This one's out straight away. Okay, secondly, we have P that is upward and to the left. Okay, so only A has, the, has an option where P is upward to the left. So P contain, consists of a frictional force that's upward as well as a contact force that's to the left perpendicular to the rough wall. So that's where P's direction is going to be. Okay, so let's just confirm Q, all right? Q's direction is to the right somewhat, as well as vertically upwards. So there is, there it is, Q is in this direction. Okay, so the answer that would allow this letter to be in equilibrium will be A.